Hello students, we're going to go over 3.2. Um, in this lesson, what we want to do is prove that the figures are congruent to one another by either uh, reflecting them, rotating them, or um, translating them. So we'll start with the first one. So we want to use the definition of congruence okay, to decide whether two figures are congruent. So what we want to do is look at this and first say, yeah, these figures are congruent. Um, and so if I look at it, if I look at here, these points, they are congruent because they're reflected. One step to the left, one step to the right. Over here, I go over one, two, three, four to the right, one, two, three, four to the left, and I'm the same. Here, one, two to the right, here, one, two to the left. And then also a C, I'm over here, one, two, three, and then over here, one, two, three. So we can say that they're congruent. C couple things that's important. We need to write what corresponds. So C corresponds with J, so they need to be in the same position. They don't have to be first, but they do need to be in the same position. F corresponds, okay? So F corresponds to M, so they gotta be in, that, in the, this is the second one here, second one here. And then you have here, um, you have uh, E, okay? E corresponds to um, L, and so they're in the same position. And then lastly, we have D and K are corresponding, so they're in the same position. So it's important the letter or the order in which you put your letters. So once we have that, then we'd say they're congruent. And the reason they're congruent, because they are a reflection uh, across the, so they're a reflection across the y-axis. So you go through there. Now, if we come through here, same idea. This one is a rotation. So if I rotate it, so you will still need to use those um, rotation uh, rules that we came across in uh, section 2.3. Um, so a 90 degree rotation, just to remind you, is negative y, x. That's a 90 degree one. And 180 degree is just the switching of the signs of the x and y values. And a 270 degree rotation is a switching of the spots and you switch the sign of the x. So we will still need those. So it's important to have those, uh, but you come through here. Again, this one, we'd see it's a 90 degree rotation. And uh, uh, from there, again, make sure your sp points correspond. So B and Y should be in the same spot. B and Y are in the same spot. So just point that out to you. Um, with X and a, with A and X, they're in the same spot, and they are here. So they need to be in those. The next part that you go to is, um, I, and I just want to point out this one to you. So if I look at here, this is a reflection. I'm flipping across this line here. It's one step, one step here. Here, these two are one, two, three, and a half. And then you come over here, half. One, two, three, three and a half that way. So they just point that out to you. So it could be you reflect over a line like this, that x equals negative three. Vertical lines are x equals, horizontal lines are y equals as you go through that. Um, so then we come to this one. We wanna show that these figures are congruent. So if, um, if I look at it, I could, and I wanna test it. So um, like I said, I could test and see, okay, I could reflect it over real quickly so I could draw this in here. So I reflect it over this line. So now it's in the uh, kind of in the same spot, but I need to move this um, to the, so if I just, if I were to just take this figure and I were just to move it over here, see how it doesn't line up? See, I, I still need to flip it. So in order for me to do that, okay, then um, what we'll have to do is we flip it over. So if I flip it over now, so it's one, two, so now it flips over and it's right here. So it flips over this way. So now it's in the same right spot, but I still need to move it. Okay, so now I need to move it. If I just take in, like I take this and I just move it over one step, now we're perfectly in line. So for what we'd write out then, is we would say, okay, all right, we'd say that um, ABC, triangle, ABC maps to triangle PQR by 
reflecting over the x, oops, the x axis then the y then translating then then translating one unit right okay so i would go ahead and do that now now we that's our that's our expl explanation now we got to write a rule for it so how do we say x and why, what's gonna be my rule for it? Well, first thing to take note of is notice all your y values from these. They're the same values, two, six, two, two, six, two, but they're negative. So we're just switching the sign of my y value. Next, if I look at it, I have eight and nine, three and four, two and three. So, and then see how the sign switched from positive to negative, so it's gonna be a negative. And then we would go ahead and say, well, we added one and moved right one, so we'd say x plus one. So that would be it. Again, remember, in a reflection though, so I go back to this, in a reflection, so over the x-axis, a reflection just switches the sign of your y value. And so it switched the sign of our y value. Then over the y-axis, it switches the sign of our x value. And so that's what we did. So we switched both of our signs and then the translation right one, so that affects our x-axis. You come to this one, and if, if it looks at, this kind of looks like you'd rotate it 180 degrees. This, this one, let's say I'm here. Like if I rotate 180 degrees, would it actually bring it to me? Um, so I could try that out. So uh, again, a 180 degree rotation is just switch your x and y, the signs of your x and y values. So if I did that, so this is, Again, if I look at my A value, over 3, up 4, B is over 3, up 8, C is over 4, up 9, and then D is over 8, up 8. So if I switched it, so let's say we do that, negative 3, negative 4, and I'm just testing to see if this works. Okay, I just want to show you a way. So I try it out, and I see, okay, it looks like it could be a rotation. And so then I graph this. So negative three, negative four, negative three, negative eight, negative four, and there I go, negative nine. And then I have negative eight and negative eight. And if I connect this shape, I can see that I still am not in the same orientation. Meaning if I, were to take, and even if I were to move this, it wouldn't move up how it should be. I still need to like rotate it around. So doing a rotation is not the correct thing to do. I was wrong, okay? And I wanted to show you that, that I was wrong. So I'm not gonna do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, don't do that. Okay, well, what else could I do? So I could say, okay, well, what if I, what if I reflected this? over an axis. So what if I just took this and flipped it right over here? So I went one over half over one and a half, okay? And then I come through here like this. All right, and then I take A and I reflect it over this line. And then I take D and I reflect it over this line. So we're right here. So now this is my new figure. So then if I think about it, I'm in the right orientation. So if I were to just take and move it in, it'd be matched up perfectly, okay? So once I go from there, okay, so once I move it there, so that means I gotta, uh, so I rotate it over the y-axis and so now I gotta translate it. And I would translate it, if I look at it, let me move it there. I'd move it over one, two, oh, here we go. I move it over one, two, three, and then I, so I'm moving it right three, three to the right, and then down two, four, six, eight, eight, ten, and then I gotta move it down ten. So in the end, what I would say is, okay, I reflect, so A, B, C, D, uh, maps to J, K, L, and M, by 
reflecting over the x-axis and translating it right three and down 10. So my rule would be, okay, if I reflect over the x-axis, or excuse me, the y-axis, if I reflect over the y-axis, that switches the sign of my x value. And then I added three to that, so I go plus three. And then my y doesn't change, I'm not reflecting it, and then down 10, so we'd write it this way. So that would be our rule. This is what you're gonna be going through and, uh, and showing how to do these.